What's up guys? Hey, how we doing? So I'm back with a little more career advice. We're going to talk about Cooper Webb, RJ Hampshire, and Christian Craig. So, but before we get into that, I want to just pay respect to Bubba from the Krusty Demons of Dirt. Unfortunately, sounds like another heart thing. Um, in fairness, I don't think Bubba was a pitcher of health, but everybody, I, I didn't know Bubba, but the people I know that knew him really liked him. They said he was a great guy. I do remember him in Australia just wadding it up over that giant distance jump that like Seth was doing. And man, but Bubba was always entertaining. I'll give him that and he'll definitely be missed. So rest in peace, Bubba. Wild Rose MX in Calgary, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, I believe. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm about as American as they go. I've never even been to Canada, but you guys have this amazing track, Wild Rose, and apparently you guys need to act quickly. So get involved and try and save this track. Go to the Instagram, Wild Rose MX, and they'll let you know how you can help out. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Cooper Webb signs with Yamaha. So this is supposed to be his big homecoming to the star Yamaha team. And everybody remembers when he rode Yamaha on a 450, it didn't go well. But a lot of people forget that wasn't star Yamaha. If you'll remember correctly, star only had 250 riders at that time. Webb was moving up. Yamaha, he was supposed to go to JGR, which, which essentially caused that split between, you know, JGR and Yamaha, and then they went to Suzuki, and eventually that was it for JGR. But that was all over Cooper Webb. Yamaha was convinced he was going to be the next guy, and he was going to be dominant and win championships. And while they were right, they couldn't deliver. They bring out the factory truck and their bike and just come out with this hard-headed mentality, and it just didn't work. It really didn't work. So with that said, Yamaha has turned the keys back over to someone else that knows what they're doing. So they said, hey, Star, take the budget we were using to do our own team. You do the 450s. And obviously, we've seen the success with them. Dylan Ferrandez winning an outdoor championship. Eli Tomac winning Supercross, Supercross and outdoor championships. It has been a very, very successful transition to the 450 class for Star Yamaha. With that said, I think Cooper Webb kind of felt robbed. He felt robbed that he never got to win on the Yamaha and he loves the star Yamaha team. So he's kind of coming home. You know, he did do really well on the KTM. He got two championships, but like all relationships, when they end, they usually end badly. It ended very badly. Uh, but Cooper Webb is this, this is, it's going to be an I told you so if he comes out and looks like he did at the end of last year or at the Paris Supercross. But what do we know about Cooper Webb? He's dangerous. He's like a, he's like a wounded animal. Back him into a corner and watch what happens. Does he still have that in him? He's a little bit older. He's a little bit heavier. That compression gear kind of lets you know exactly where he's at. Although he's not like some of the taller guys where we actually notice it. Cause I mean, when you're five, two, I imagine that weight doesn't have a lot of places to dissipate throughout your body. But when he comes in fit and just determined with that attitude that he has, cause Webb's got to have a bit of an attitude. You know, he's on the line yelling, are you ready to F and go? And, and just the guy feeds off of a challenge and he is up against it this year. If he can come out against this field with jet who just went undefeated in the outdoors with Eli, his teammate, that's going to be an interesting one to watch because Cooper doesn't play well with others and Eli likes to be the top dog. So definitely pay attention to that. What I would tell Cooper Webb, keep your mouth shut unless you're winning. If you can get up there, battle, get wins, get loud. But if you don't, just ride it out. I believe it's a two-year deal with Star. And if he doesn't at least somewhat deliver, Star's been known to fire people. I don't see them doing that with Cooper Webb. I believe he'll ride out the entire contract, but he's going to have to have some decent results. And I don't know. I don't, I don't expect much from him this year, but that, like I said, that's usually when he got his championships, uh, years where you think he's done for, he comes back. Can he get through the whoops? Does he feel more comfortable on the Yamaha? It's hard to tell because at super motocross, he didn't look good. He didn't look good in Paris, but Good luck getting Cooper Webb fired up to take risks and go for it in a exhibition race. He's just not that type of guy. He's got to have all the marbles on the line. 
We're going to find out within the first three or four rounds if he's got it and if he's ready. Guys, if you haven't tried Coach Rob's Energy Fuel, if you go to the CoachRobStore.com, Energy Fuel is the best recovery drink, period. I, I stand by it. I drink it all the time. It's amazing. Go to the Coach Rob Store. Try this stuff out. Epic Garage Designs. They do ridiculously badass garage designs or just a simple rack, whatever you need. Go to epicgaragedesigns.com with RJ Hampshire. I was beyond disappointed that he didn't get a 450 opportunity. This guy, his style, and from what I've seen a little bit that he's ridden the 450, he's a 450 guy. As you get older, it's harder to maintain that intensity, that risk, that go for it early, you know, like they do in the 250 class, as you get older and you start to think a little bit more, while the guys in the 450 class are better, sometimes the 250 class might be harder because there's more mayhem and you have to, you really have to ride like a maniac to make it survive. RJ's proven he can do that, but man, I, I just don't want to see him have to do that much more. I mean, this guy's had a lot of head injuries and that genuinely worries me. He's got a beautiful family. I don't want to see RJ take any more head injuries. And my advice to RJ, if you take any more head injuries, I hope you've been smart with your money. I'm never going to tell anyone when to stop racing, but I would advise him, if you take any more head injuries, check your finances and see if it's okay to walk away because you don't want to miss watching that family grow up with those two beautiful daughters of yours. You don't want to miss that. Or you don't want to, in 20 years, not even remember it. It's, it, it's scary. So that would be my advice to RJ, something that he doesn't need to worry about going into the season, but it's something that if I'm his wife, I'm paying attention and I'm watching. And if he takes another one, let him know. But I wish he would have got on the 450. Um, maybe he can get on, maybe, you know, the next guy I talk about, he should have that spot, but we'll see. Guys, support Ride Strapped. Strapped is one of the coolest companies out there. They do the badass shirts, the red pill shirts. They've got the Let's Go branding goggles. They are all about supporting this industry and helping the youth of this industry. They really like trying to help people who need help, not necessarily the rich kids that are on Instagram that already have everything. Strapped wants to help the little guy. So support them and just know you're helping a company who has a genuine set of core beliefs that I can get behind. Precision Transport. Precision Transport is the best trucking company in the business, period. I, these guys are great. Their rates are really affordable. They have customer service. They love Moto. And I might have some big news coming with them. They're also associated with uh, the brand Prosper 16. Check them out on Instagram. But yeah, Precision Transport. They have not forgot about customer service. Christian Craig. So this one is hard for me. I, I, I really like Christian. Christian is a, is a guy who he's a high quality person. I've had some interactions with him. All good. I know other people who know him very, very well. Nothing but good things to say about Christian Craig. He's a family man. He's not faking it. He's not out partying. He truly is what he presents to people. And I mean, he's a good guy and he's, he's got this talent. I mean, He's so good on the bike. Like he's, he's, I don't know why, but watching him ride, it's just like a work of art, just like his dad was. It, it's amazing, but we haven't seen it in a long time. And one of the biggest strengths that Christian Craig had was the whoops. Last year, he did not go good in the whoops. Was it the bike? Was it him? Was it the 450? I don't know, but this guy's like 33 years old now. I mean, I believe he's older than, you know, Malcolm and Eli and Anderson. Not that that's old for an athlete, unless you've had the tremendous amount of injuries that Christian has had. He has had some severe injuries. So I wonder, is it time? If he can't find that speed and that natural ability that, that he's, because anytime anyone watches that, they go, okay, he's got the speed. If we can just harness that and get him consistent, we got it. I haven't seen that speed in a long time. I commend him for coming off the couch and riding the designations, even though it was probably a bad idea. I respect him for doing that. I mean, no one else would step up, so he did. But I hope it didn't shake his confidence, and I hope he figures out the whoops. Stop riding to survive and just go for it, Christian. Uh, every race could be the end, so you're in the last year of your contract. You had a two-year deal. 
just go for it, man. We need to see something big. He needs to get some podiums to keep this career alive. So Christian Craig, you got to go, man. You got to go hard and you got to get some podiums and you got to make people give them a reason to sign you up for 2025. If not, this might be the swan song. Anyway, guys, remember, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later.